Welcome to another week of tomfoolery, shenanigans, and maybe even some ballyhoo. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Anglin Anarchy. I'm in Canada and I couldn't be happier. You can probably tell by the smile on my face. I'm on world famous Eagle Lake. It is the muskie opener right now. I'm wasting time that I could be fishing for muskies talking to you all, so you're special I guess. Anyway, I'm out here, Mr. Ben Stone. Ben Stone fishing in the back here. This is his first Canadian muskie trip, so let's see what we can do with that. Up in the front chucking, Trevor Allen, Chaos Tackle. Uh, so we are up here for a full week at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge. Uh, we have, as of right now, 62 degree water temps. Um, like I said, we're just getting started. So the plan, the first day on one of these trips for me is to hit some rock spots, then go check out some weed spots and alternate that until we can hopefully figure out some sort of pattern. And we're gonna be chucking all matter of musky baits from all around the musky world so uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun folks I am so stoked about this so I'm gonna get right to fishing here and see if we can get one of these beautiful eagle like muskies for you all to see all right ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna start off throwing a uh, Hunzi tail I, I honestly don't know what size blades those are looks like a seven and an eight but it's a cool little stagger and then it's got this neat little dangly blade with a little ticker on the back uh, so I'm gonna start off throwing that Trevor Throwing a little eight inch Poseidon there. Look at that little number. I don't know what Ben's throwing. What's Ben's throwing? A baby wood tick. A baby wood tick. All right, so we're kind of throwing some smaller stuff here. I'm gonna see if we can't uh, at least get a bead on what these fish are doing. We're all rocking a salt stick 2020s. I've got this uh, 9 6 SWAT that I'm gonna be throwing with the 400 tranks. I think I've got uh, 100 pound fins big game excess on this one i really like the fins it has been so good the past year so that's what we got rocking we're gonna see if we can catch musky oh yeah that's kind of dumb oh <gasps> nice fish yeah dude that's a big one How wide that thing Dude, was. That, was that was a big fish. Was like well was over 50. 52, 53, at least. Yeah. Oh, well, boys and squirrels, we, yeah, we know where one is. We know where a big boy is. Or a girl, I should. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Nope. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that was a musky. <laughs> I think he tried a little... I think he tried a little bit too hard. Oh my god! Is he still there? Oh, definitely. No sh Fish! Fish! Watch, this will be a pike. <laughs> I can't tell. Okay. Well, it feels heavy-ish. Oh. Oh my god, 
<laughs> I called it, pike. What is going on? But that is a gigantic, dude, look at, look at the size of that dude, pike. That's a 40 inch pike. That's a beautiful fish. Wow. Uh, all right, let's take a look at this thing. This is a big girl for a pike. This is a very pretty fish. Come on. Come here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that thing. Ben was figure eight a muskie and this thing just whacked that rusky, Rusty's uh, six sucker that I've been catching everything on this year, it seems. We, this is big enough, we are gonna take a look and see just how big she is. 40. Yep. Yep. So that is a trophy caliber pike, folks. I mean, we're out here for muskies, but obviously a fish of this size is a really special animal. And it's just beautiful. So we are going to get this girl back in the water. The muskies seem to be moving pretty good. So we want to go get one of those. Oh. All right, girl. Come here, give me your tail. There you go. She's got herself upright. Look how pretty her back is. There she goes. All right, well, uh, first nice fish in the boat. We've got a couple small pike, but that's the first nice one. So close to having a couple muskies. So hopefully with the weather that we have here, we can get one of these things to go. Fish. Good fish, I think. No, is it just another big pike? I can't tell. No, it's. I don't think so. Jeez. That one didn't choke. I'm the pike king. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's probably. It bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's another. Yeah, we'll check it. <laughs> I'm on the Pike program, apparently. I <laughs> just. We've seen so many muskies and they were starting to ramp up and I got that big pike and had this one hit and out I thought it was a muskie quite honestly because it just it, it's a it's a good sized fish but uh, it is another pike I don't know if it's another 40 incher but we're gonna have a look I guess Ooh, come on buddy come on come on come on yeah, yeah. looks like he's got an old injury there he's got an old old gill that got ripped out from a while ago and he's still kicking oh look at that this one's not as chunky but it might be as long as that last one we'll take a quick peek here see what he is oh yeah he's 40 and three quarters just shy of 41 inches so <laughs> Within uh, within 15 minutes of one another, I've caught two uh, what most people would consider trophy pike. So I guess we can't be too mad about that, but it sure would be nice if we could get one of these muskies to go. All right, we'll get her back in. Get out of there, girl. There she goes. All right, well, maybe we'll see if we can catch a 45-inch pike today. I don't know. <laughs>
Well, folks, I would love to tell you that we went in and rested, but we did not. Uh, we are all running on fumes, as they say, but uh, we feel that the weather is good enough that it is worth being out here right now. Uh, we have overcast conditions. We had so many fish moving earlier, so we are uh, skipping sleep. We got a little bite to eat and we're back out after it. So we're gonna see if some of these fish that we contacted earlier are willing to bite now. If that doesn't work, we're on new spots. So let's see if we can add to those two trophy pike that we got this morning and add some muskies to the list. Fish. go. Hey boys, we got ourselves a muskie. Dude. Thank you for saving the day. Oh my gosh. I thought I was stuck on the rocks. I made a cast up there because you can, I mean, you can see there's rocks right on the surface there. I made one pump and I'm like, oh, man, and then I started, <laughs> started head shaking. So, whoo, it's a nice fish. Let's take a look at it. Wow. After 30 ish follows uh and nips and misses we finally got a musky to hit a bait and stick uh, on a mid medusa so we're going to take a quick look at it get a quick measurement uh for the musky zinc lunge log and just kind of see how big this fish is and uh we'll get her back on our way There we go. All right. You are a spunky one. All right, girl. There we go. What a beautiful fish. I just love the build on these Eagle Lake muskies. Even ones that aren't gigantic. Just have an awesome build to them. So fun to fight. She's being kind of spunky, so let's see. All right, let's behave yourself. She is 41 and a half, it looks like. Man, she is still beat up from the spawn, it looks like. And she wants to get going, so one last look. All right, let's get this bad girl on her way. Oh, settle down. All right. There we go. Oh, she wants to go. Off she goes. And hopefully off we go to get at least one more of these beautiful Eagle Lake muskies. There's, I would be shocked if we didn't see another fish either on this back side or working down the other side of this. Shocked, I tell you. Shock and odd. <laughs> that would do it too. Oh, nice. Here, you want me to get it while you get this taken care of? You shut it off. Hey Trevor, watch watch the rocks for us. <laughs> Not, 
Oh, yeah, dude. dude. That's a dandy. That's a dandy. Oh, uh, you got us pushed out. Uh, oh. We might want to spot lock further away than that. I genuinely just set the camera down and I was like, Brian caught this fish. Maybe things are starting to happen. I'm pretty sure that was my next cast, if not the second cast. Another muskie in the net. Same spot. This is a good fish. I have been chucking this same stupid bait all day. I have seen so many muskies on the same stupid bait that they haven't wanted to eat it. Patience paid off. We got ourselves a good muskie in the net. This is my first Eagle Lake muskie. This is my first true Canadian muskie and it's a good one. I'm super excited to get a look at this gorgeous fish. She is wound up. Forty, what, 47? 47? Yep. That was a half inch off. Nice. <sighs> what a beautiful muskie. This is one of the most incredible fish I've ever held in my hands. Canadian muskie, Shield Lake, Eagle Lake. What an incredible fish. We gotta utilize the rest of our time though, so I'm gonna get this girl back and hopefully we can get another, another shot at a fish here. She, is, she didn't waste any time going back. <laughs> oh man. Yes, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Brian, for bringing me to Eagle Lake. This is incredible. Let's get another one. All right, folks. Well, that is it for day one of the Ontario opener on Eagle Lake here for muskies. I'm talking slow because I am tired as I've ever been, I think. <laughs> I think we all are. So we are going to call it good a couple minutes early here. You have to be off the water 30 minutes uh, after sunset. So uh, we've got about 10 minutes left. I think we're just gonna go in and try to get some sleep. A couple big pike today, uh, ground out a couple of muskies at the end of the day. So that was really cool. And uh, we're gonna do this all over again. In fact, we've got six more days of this. I don't know if we're gonna survive. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's go get some food some sleep and call it a night thank you everyone for watching this mess i'll see you on the next video